Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Tim, the truck's Daisy, and we're hauling paws. We do a lot of different stuff with RV transport. We travel all over the country and they pay us for it. It's amazing. Today we're gonna to be talking about this DuraGuard or UltraGuard. They go by two different names. But everybody knows about them. You bolt them on the back, they protect the campers from the stones. What I wanna show you is how I went and changed this a little bit to make it easily removable so you can get better fuel economy on your way back when you're unloaded. It's really simple, it just takes a couple of parts. They're all available at Tractor Supply. Let's take a look at what I had to do, a couple of slight modifications on the, uh, the mud flap itself before it could be ready for easy removal. And then I'll show you the process of how fast it is to put it on and take it off. So let's get to it. Hopefully this will be clear enough the way it's laying right here and you can see what I did. Now when you buy this mud flap, it comes with three bars that go across here that kind of tie together and it gives you this one long piece of angle iron. Now typically when they advertise it, they say that it comes with the one piece of angle iron or it doesn't come with the one piece of angle iron, but it's not actually one piece, it's three pieces. So what I ended up doing is I took out the center piece here and the the, the pieces they send you, I think, are like one inch by one inch. And I got a piece of one and a quarter by one and a quarter. And that gave me enough room to do the rest of what I wanted to do. So what I did is I took out that center piece. I left these ones intact, these ones on both ends. And then I took out the center piece. I put the one and a quarter or one and a half angle iron in there. And it's only an eighth inch uh, thick. And then... Wow. Let me see if I can move this over here so you can kind of see it. Yeah. Then I drilled two half inch holes right in the center. And those half inch holes are the kind of the, the key to putting this thing together. Now it does come with the brackets that you can bolt on, but a lot of times they're behind the bumper or they're in a place where you can't really get to them to unbolt it real easy. So what I did is I just replaced it with this uh, larger angle that gave me enough room to put the half inch holes here and gave me the meat that I needed on the outside and on the inside to be able to fit my bolts. Now what I did is I went down to tractor supply and I bought these these uh, U-bolts. They're actually for leaf springs for a trailer and they are, they're a half inch and they come with two of them so you have a spare and they come with washers and nuts and all that other stuff that you need and if I can get the link in the description. I'll put them down there so you can just have them shipped to your house and make it a little bit easier to get this stuff. So when I started researching how to do this and make it fast, I went through a lot of different, um, I don't know, plans or designs, and then I came up with this one. So I was in tractor supply, I saw these and I thought, well that might work, because it can go right around your shank and then bolt on. I thought that would be a good idea. The problem that I ran into was they're almost the right size, but not quite tight enough. So they kind of rock back and forth. So when you bolt it down, even though it's tight, it does rock back and forth. So your mud flap wiggles as you're going down the road. And I didn't want that because it put a lot of strain on it and do weird stuff. So I had to come up with a solution for that. And what I came up with was these little sleeves. Now this is just a, a steel sleeve. Like I said, bought, all this stuff's bought at Tractor Supply. This steel sleeve fits onto the bolt. And it, it's only, I don't know, maybe a sixteenth of an inch thick, maybe. So total, it's going to be about an eighth inch on both sides. But you put this little sleeve in there, and then you put this one on this side. And then when you put it up here, and it's snug. Oh, this one won't work because it's brand new. Let me get my, the one that I actually use. Put the sleeves on and then it goes up here and then it doesn't rock as bad so it gives it that support that it needs 
Plus, when you bolt it on, you push the mud flap up against the back of this thing, and it doesn't rock at all. So that's all that was needed. With the kit comes washers. Now I had to grind my washers a little bit on the edge so they'd fit into the mud flap, and I'll show you what those do. And I ground them on both sides. You only really have to do one side. But I did on both sides so it didn't matter. In the dark, I could throw the washer on either any direction and it would still go on the right way. If you grind it on one side, then you gotta make sure that when you put the washer on, it goes on the right way. I just did it on both sides and made it easier for me. So let's take a look at how easy this thing is to put on. I do it with my half inch impact. I've got a three quarter inch socket that's on it. I always have this available for doing the wheel nuts and that kind of stuff. So all I have to do is pop my socket on there and, and do it. I don't have to get in my toolbox. This is right underneath my uh, front seat so I because I use it all the time okay start to finish let's see how fast it is to put it on And that's done. That's on there, and it's ready to go. I throw it on right before I put a camper on, and they're all good. So now, taking it off. Let's see how fast it is to take it off. And now I'm ready to put it in the bed of my truck. So that's that. Super easy, really cheap. I mean, under 20 bucks probably for the whole thing. Piece of angle iron in the bracket or the U-bolt. This U-bolt is a lot stronger than the cheap brackets that they give you with the kit. And then to store it, all I do is I take and put the washers on here and put the nut on a couple of turns. And these are nylock nuts, so they don't come loose. I have to replace them every once in a while because I put them on and take them off so much. So I got a little box of nylock nuts in, uh, in my toolbox. And I throw this in the same bag that my impact is in and I'm all set to go. So super simple, piece of angle iron and this. And then you can save fuel economy when you're coming back unloaded. Now some vehicles, they don't change much when you take that mud flap off, but on this truck, it made a big deal. Uh, I was seeing between two and three miles to the gallon difference without it. So it made sense to me to make it so that it was easily removable rather than bolting it directly to the hitch and having to pull the whole hitch out, which is what I was doing, I ended up going with this, and now I can put it on, take it off in mere seconds. So, hope you got something good out of this video. If you did, click the like button, make a comment down there. If you're new here, then click the subscribe button. I'm gonna try to be putting out more content here in the coming days. And uh, as always, have safe travels, and I hope to see you on the road.